Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Here with us today, we have a Motorola Moto G Pure, and this device does indeed have the Google Account Lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was factory reset, and to continue, we have to either verify the previous security screen pin lock that was used, or if we tap on Use My Google Account instead, It'll pull up the secondary option that tells us that we can also sign in with a Google account that was previously on the device. So over the years, we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then obviously after the purchase, the buyer discovered the lock, but they weren't going to have the previous user's login information, and in those cases, says unfortunately the seller has usually long since disappeared since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. So we're now making this video here today to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. The procedure is something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So, as you guys can see very clearly, the device was on the Google Lock page, and then I just powered it off and plugged it into my computer program here that goes ahead and takes care of that lock for us. So now, once the phone finishes restarting, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the initial setup steps without running into that Google Lock page. Okay, so the phone is now fully rebooted, so we're gonna go ahead and jump through the settings here step by step, just to verify that we can get through all of them. So we don't need to connect to a mobile network, we're gonna skip that. We don't need Wi-Fi, so we're actually just gonna go ahead and skip that also. Now there's all these Motorola options here, which we're just gonna turn them all off, and then accept and continue. Next, we're going to agree to the Google services. We don't need a screen lock, so we're going to skip that step. We don't need any of that other Motorola stuff, so we are going to skip that also. And there we go. It says you're all set, so once we tap done, we can indeed see that we have the home screen loading up here. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna pop down into the settings just to verify exactly what we are working with here. So when we go down to the About Phone section, we can indeed see that we have a Moto G Pure once my focus decides to cooperate. And then the model number, once we tap on model there, we can see that the specific model number of this device is XT2163-5. 
4. So Motorola makes several different versions of this device. So that is the specific model number that we're working with here. So if you have one of these Moto G Pures that has the Google account lock enabled and need help getting it removed, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information can be found right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our contact info there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.